How's it going Arky Squad? Leon here and as per popular request I am now playing Minecraft. So I've actually been playing this for like a couple of days now and I've actually built myself a house right here. So yeah I've, I've spared you guys the misery of having to watch me gather materials and actually painstakingly build this house. It's, it looked harder than it seemed. Let me just give you a tour of my house. So right here we have the entrance. So enter. Let's close that and we have our main kitchen i guess this is a kitchen but this is not yet done i'm still gathering more materials for the kitchen then here we have some sort of grand staircase that goes up to the second floor which is the bedroom amazing it's it's about to become night time well, let us just go to sleep right now so that i can teach you guys something about architecture while playing minecraft okay it is morning now so as you guys could see the sun is on the rear side of our house. So usually in Filipino cultures, it is considered good luck that the entrance of your house faces the sunrise. I located the entrance of this house on the east and also I am going to locate the master bedroom on the east. The reason for that is because when waking up, I would like to see the sunrise. So yeah, when designing a house, you should cater to who is going to live in this house. So for this house in particular, I am going to be living in this house and I want to wake up and see the sunrise. So yeah, that's why I located my bedroom near the east. So quick tip when analyzing your site, when looking at the east side or where the sun rises, on your right side is the south and on your left side is the north. So when you live in the Philippines or near the equator, the south side of your site is usually going to be the hottest. So usually you would locate wet areas on the south side of your house such as the kitchen the laundry area some toilet and bathroom so that those areas do not accumulate mildew when you live near the equator the sun usually passes at the south side so the south side of the house actually receives the most sun in particular the southwest side of the house okay now that i've explained the effect of the sun to your floor plan let me just show you around my house i mean my property so you guys could see i have a lake right here here are my plants i have wheat actually have to farm that give me that wheat plant right here are my cows what's up cows do you need food please make more babies so i can eat them darn it i ran out of wheat i'm sorry mr cow also i have a water sheep just like pewdiepie what's up mr water sheep hello mr kato wait 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 why are you running away okay i got sidetracked but now let me just show you the rest of the property so yeah there's our farm I have a floating bush right here that sounded dirty and right beside my house is my mine you know haven't really found any diamonds yet i'm out of wheat so i'm just gonna go on an adventure and try to steal you some wheat so just wait there guys oh it's a donkey hello donkey do you do you want some wheat seeds No, it, it clearly doesn't want any wheat seeds. Oh, there's a bunch of fish. Can I capture them with my bucket? Ah, how do you capture salmon? Yes, I got a bucket of salmon. Awesome. Okay, I don't know what we're gonna do with that, but we are going to go home and get more buckets. So while getting back home, uh, I'm just gonna answer a few of your guys' questions. And the first question is, oh, pumpkins. Awesome, we have pumpkins and stuff. So as I was saying, some of you guys are asking what college I attended. So I attended St. Louis University here in Baguio City in the Philippines. And that will also answer one of your guys' most common questions that uh, am I a Filipino? And yes, I am indeed a Filipino full-blooded um, if it wasn't already obvious from my dark brown complexion and my awesome accent, uh, yeah, I'm a Filipino. So just I'm just gonna clarify that. Okay, we are now back at the house and it is now nighttime. Taken me that long to get back to the house, but you know, I'm going to answer one of the questions that I was telling you guys about. What is the difference between architecture and engineering? Okay, so to put it simply, architects deal with the aesthetic design of the house. We make the house look good and we make sure that it is functional for the users. Meanwhile, the engineers are there to design the structural components of the house such as the columns, the beams, and the slabs. 
to make sure that the house doesn't collapse in on itself. So basically the workflow is the architect designs the house first, then gives the plans and the designs to the engineer for them to do the structural computations so that your house doesn't explode or collapse and you know stuff like that. So the engineers make sure that the architect's work is safe for other people to use. So basically engineers are like the architect's best friend. So both of us must work together. So if you guys are wondering if what course you should take, um, you should take architecture if you love designing and creating stuff. And you should take engineering if you love computing and you love maths. So there you go guys. That is the difference between architecture and engineering. And it is now morning. It took me like a whole night in Minecraft to explain all those stuff to you guys. Whoa! It's like, oh no, don't step on my plants. Get off my farm, dude. Like, yeah, that's right. Get off. My... What? Fucking llamas and everything. We are going to trap this guy. I'm going to trap you. Okay, you are now my prisoner. Stop saying ha, man. I'm, I'm kidnapping you. All right, guys. We have a free llama and a free trader. I don't know what I'm gonna do with them, but I'm just gonna keep them inside this enclosure for the meantime. Okay, what was I gonna do? I was gonna feed wheat to my cow so that they make more cow babies. Okay, so we're gonna definitely need more wheat supplies. Oh, there's a pool of lava over here. Very cool. Oh, I see a sand village over there. Oh, hello, desert people. Oh, what's this? Oh, you guys have free stuff. Don't mind if I do. <laughs> yeah, man. It's awesome. Found a stack of free hay or wheat. A stack of wheat is gonna be super useful. Just don't mind me. I'm just cleaning up your area, guys. I'm not stealing from you. I'm just checking. You know, if your building is up to code. Have a ton of bread. Thanks for the bread, guys. All right. Okay, we need to get back home. That is the village and our home should be somewhere over yonder. Alright, so it was a very successful, you know, adventure. We we got to steal, I mean borrow some some wheat bales. Some bales of wheat. Cubes of wheat. Yeah, maybe maybe we'll just call it cubes of wheat. So we got a ton of wheat cubes. Which we can then turn into wheat. So we have so much wheat right now, guys. Boom! Okay, we definitely have to go home now because it's getting dark. I'm lost. Hello, Mr. Chicken. Like, oh no, I wandered into a different village. Don't mind me, Mr. Sheep, just borrowing some uh, wheat blocks. Okay, so I've wandered into a different village. I thought this was the village beside my house. So, not good. Guys, I need to go to sleep. There are ton of zombies here. I can feel them chasing me. Close it, close it. Whew. Okay. And it is now the morning time. Good morning, everybody. I'm back to borrow some more wheat blocks. I promise I'll return it. He believe, why is he not burning? Eh, eh. Why are you not burning, man? What the shizzles? Oh no, oh no, there's. Oh, shizzles, I'm about to die. I'm about to die. Run away. Help me, villager! Ooh! We go here! No, 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 no. Okay. Okay, we're still good. We're still good as long as they don't freaking punch me again. Oh no, there's three of them. Oh no, there's a baby zombie now! What the shit is ah, It's so fast! It's so fast! Ooh, ooh. Oh. oh, Jesus Christ! No, 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 no. Don't. Get away from me, get away from me! Oh, it's stuck. Oh, dude, I died. Holy Shiba Liba, I died. Okay, good thing we slept in this village. Where's that little bastard? Oh, he's still there. He's still alive. I need, I need my sword. I need my sword. Give me the sword. Give me the sword. Oh, chisels. Where's the sword? I equipped it. Little bastard, die. Come on, just die already. Jesus Christ. Huh. That was intense, man. I was already level 8, dude. Just had to freaking kill me. Okay, so our wheat problem is solved. But we have another problem. We got we got lost, man. Our house is literally... I, I don't even know where the house is. Oh, 
We have to make a compass to get back home, guys. The only way I know. Can't believe I got lost in Minecraft. I was so confident in adventuring and now I'm lost. How do you make compass? Iron and a redstone? I saw someone selling a redstone, but I can't remember who. I don't know how to get back home. Do you have redstone? I need to make a compass, man. I see this weird dressed guy. Okay. Oh, he has redstone. So I can like, uh, stay there, Mr. Dude. I can sell this guy some wheat and then we can buy a redstone. Okay. Get some emerald. Thank you for- Ooh, shizzles! Got surprised. Yoo hoo purple dude. I need to trade with you, man. I need one redstone dust. Thank you. Oh, I can make a compass now. Okay, hopefully I have the iron. Yes, we have the iron. Okay, guys, we can make a compass. Alright. Nice. Okay, mission successful. We now have a compass. And basically, I think what the compass does is it points us home. So we are going to find our home in no time. Okay, so the compass doesn't lead you home. It leads you to your spawn point. Luckily for me, the spawn point was near our home. I was a little bit worried that we wouldn't find our home and I have to make another home. But I'm glad that we found our way back home. Okay, I guess I'm going to end the whole Minecraft video right here, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I did because I had a ton of fun playing Minecraft and I wish I had more time to play Minecraft. But you know, architecture is a very busy profession, so I didn't really have that much time to create a wonderful house. Maybe in the next episode. So if this video gets a ton of views and a ton of likes, I'll probably make another Minecraft video. If it doesn't, Oh well, I had fun anyways. So yeah. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. I just want to do a few shoutouts. Because before I don't really do shoutouts. But a ton of you guys were adamantly asking for me to do shoutouts. So here you go. I'm just going to shout out a few of you guys. So every video I'm going to do some random shoutouts. So shout out to my boy John Earl Vistan. He's been adamantly asking me in the comments for me to shout him out. So here you go my boy. Enjoy the shoutout. Also, shout out to Christine A. So, Christine, if I remember correctly, you asked me to shout you out in person. So, we met in this architecture event in Intramuros, Manila. And she asked me to shout her out and I forgot. And I just recently remembered that she asked me to do a shout out of her channel. So, go check out her channel down in the descriptions below, guy. Also, shout out to my boy, Jim Troy Jimenez. He's a loyal Archie Squad member and also a member of the hashtag notification squad and early squad. Always down in the comments below. So, belated happy birthday to you, my man. I wasn't able to give you a shout out on your birthday, but here you go. Belated happy birthday. And also, special shout out to my boy, Tyler Oliver Taylor. Thank you for being my first patron in Patreon. So, for those of you guys who are not familiar with Patreon, it is like this donation service that if you want to support a creator, you just click uh, support the creator and you're basically going to donate some money to his cause or her cause. So, basically, Tyler Oliver Taylor has supported this channel, so for that I give you a shout out. Thank you so much. And with all of the shout outs out of the way, I would just like to thank you guys for watching this video until the end. You guys are super awesome. Arky Squad represent. I will see you guys on my next video. Flying peace.